Today we're out here at a local trail race and the goal is to run for six hours. This event is called the TARC Turkey Trot. So TARC stands for Trail Animal Running Club. That's a local running club here just north of Boston. And they put on these awesome really cheap events. This race was like $32 and it's, uh, it's really cool. There's a very New England vibe the aid stations in an old New England barn, and it's uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me today. We are currently almost three hours into the six hour event. Uh, I've covered almost 13 miles, and this trail is unexpectedly hard. I was not expecting a hard trail today. It's my first time running this event. And uh, yeah, it's pretty rugged out here. Good amount of elevation gain per loop. Each loop is 5K, but I think each 5K loop has like eight or 900 feet of elevation gain. So far, I'm feeling okay. Uh, started out pretty strong. Probably went a little too fast on the first loop. And now my calves hurt a little bit, but it's manageable, it's not too bad. I think I just need to get a little bit more hydration in me and keep on trucking. Couldn't ask for better weather today though. It's uh probably in the mid 50s sunny and we've got crazy foliage going on lots of leaves on the ground it's actually a little bit hard to follow the trail because of how many leaves are on the ground but you know classic new england what does get a little tricky on this course is because of all those leaves there's actually an area that's really rocky and these leaves kind of create like a trap door so it's really easy to get your foot stuck between a couple of rocks and twist an ankle. I've already saw a couple of people who've taken falls. There's already been bloodshed on this trail. <laughs> but uh, so far, everyone seems like they're in good spirits. Quick side note, I bumped into this guy in this race who was wearing a shirt that said, Heart Transplant Survivor. And this dude is out here running a six hour event and he had a heart transplant back in 2017. I just found that totally mind blowing. I had to talk to him about it. Super nice guy. And uh, if you're watching this, congrats, man. Really amazing stuff. And man, it's just nice to see people again, like without masks on, without all of the barriers, you know, see smiles and, you know, of course they're doing everything safe here. summit of Whipple Hill. This is the high point of the course. Not an amazing view, but there's something. And now we continue on. Back down to do it all over again. Let's go. just leaving the aid station, also known as a barn back here. I'm heading out on my sixth loop of the 5K loop and I am tired. My legs are hurting. Really didn't expect the trail to be as difficult as it is. 
I also am not as trained as I should be, but this trail certainly feels hard today. And uh, everyone's getting their butt kicked. I've seen a lot of people fall. I've seen some um, people smash their face off of rocks. There's been bloodshed. It's getting real out here. So I just threw down a uh, half a grilled cheese, got some more tailwind, and uh, it's time to go out on another lap. Number six, let's do it. Back at the summit, here we go. Whew. 17 and a half miles in, four hours and four minutes. Two hours left to go. I'm definitely not moving as fast as I should be, but I didn't come here to move fast. I just came out for a day in the woods and that's what I'm getting. So we'll see, Let's see how this goes. Oh man, I have salt caked all over me. It's in my eyes and on my hat. Yikes. Okay, so I'm back in my car. Uh, I didn't go for the full six hours. I ended up stopping at five hours. Honestly, my legs were just totally kind of shot and I wasn't really trained for this. But uh, the cool thing about this race is it's never, it's never really a did not finish or DNF because they just count how many loops you did. I completed six loops. I started on my seventh. Then I turned around and went back and said, ah, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> In either case, uh, I actually just walked around a little bit because I was at 19 miles and change and I got to 20 miles today. Um, it was a good time. Uh, that was a rough trail. That was surprisingly uh, more difficult than I expected, but it was good. It was a good long run. Um, had fun, beautiful weather, lots of smiling faces, a lot of people, a lot of fist bumps. It was, uh, it was a good time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed running with me today. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below because uh, that helps out my channel. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.